Hi guys, it's Tristan from World English School, and today we're looking at this puzzle. And this originally came from Toys R Us. This is from the company Imaginarium, which sold through Toys R Us. I'm not sure if it's selling through Toys R Us anymore, but um, this is pretty cool because it comes with this crane here with a little magnetic uh, rope on it, as you can see. So um, we're in a really nice environment too, and you might wonder why we're here why we're in this area to show an industrial like puzzle like this <laughs> but um i'll show you after after the puzzle so let's take a look and here we go so we're looking at this puzzle here this is again this is imaginarium is the is the company that made it and it's pretty cool because it's got um all, all different vehicles on it i'm going to move it up the hill here for you so take a look. Um, there's, what is this, a locomotive, looks like, uh, pulling some logs on a flatbed train carriage, I guess. And then over here behind that is a motorcycle. We got ourselves a signal over here, a stop and go, and then an airplane. Wow, this is a heavy-duty train. I imagine it's all the same train, too, pulling the same, because it might go around a curve here that we can't see. And then over here we got an airplane, and the next that is a flatbed truck with a car on the back of it, <laughs> and another traffic, another signal for the train, and then a tractor for a field probably, a farm maybe, and then this looks like some kind of container for something. Oh, pipe! Maybe it's a pipe because there's one part sticking out the top here, so I imagine it's a pipe part. And then we've got a forklift here, and the forklift has got something in its uh, claws. What is that thing? Maybe a porta potty or something? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's uh, let's do a little bit. Which one should I do first? Let's try the let's try the truck with the car, and then underneath is the same thing. So it's this is a good one for especially younger kids um, because it um, you know it's it's good for matching. So I'm just gonna you know the real challenge even for me is to put it back. So I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> And what you can do when you're dropping the piece is you can just drop it like that. So I'm going to pick up the motorcycle next. Got it. Cool. I'm going to put the motorcycle here. Yeah, you can encourage kids to put things in the wrong place because sometimes that works in real life. <laughs> Doing something different, I mean. Okay, there's the logs, the train. Anyway, you get the idea. That's what it looks like. It's pretty a uh, pretty neat puzzle, actually. I kind of like it. And the kids at our school enjoyed it very much. So... A lot of them just do this. <laughs> but yeah, this was great for English and great for play too. So pick it up backwards if you want. Yeah, anyway, so that's the puzzle. Yeah, see it says here, uh, Toys R Us. So yeah, that was the puzzle. And uh, thanks for thanks for looking at it. Let's, uh, let's take a look around. I want to show you why I chose this place. Um, this is a park called Wakamatsu Park in... Uh, it might be Narashino, could be Funabashi, I'm not sure. It's right on the edge of my city or it's in the other city next to mine. And over here we've got a bunch of industrial places where they um, bring in a lot of fish and things because this is right on the port, uh, right on Tokyo Bay. So, and then, so that's kind of why I was thinking this theme, you know, of the uh, industrial style. And then here's this giant hill with a uh, depression in the middle. and. Kids actually take uh, wheeled vehicles and slide down. It's uh, quite a quite a dip, so they go real fast. As you can see at the base there, people have used it more because it's dirt. And then over here, check this out. It's pretty bright, I know, but um, walk over a little bit. Birds all over the place. We're looking at uh, part of the park here. It's a really big park. This one stretches all the way around our river, which is cool. Oh, there's some kids over here. And then um, playground down there in a baseball field over in that area. So and I think this is an elementary school over here. That's what a Japanese elementary school looks like. If you go to elementary school, does that look like yours? <laughs> yeah, it's um, the buildings here. Uh, some of them are real nice, especially the private schools. But um, a lot of them were built back in the 70s and stuff and uh, haven't been renovated since. And they're they're not too bright looking, but they're obviously doing their job. Kids are learning a lot here. So, as long as they're functional, right? And then here's the playground down here. 
nice looking place. Look at these birds. I never saw that type of bird in America before. Not sure if we have them. Look over there, it says OK Line, that company there. And then, yeah, so I was just out doing some business today. I'm going to go shopping over there. There's a nice grocery store, and I'm going to buy a nice big fish for dinner. So, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's take a look one more time, show you what we did today. This is the puzzle. It's Imaginarium through Toys R Us. Dump that out. Yeah, this is it right here. I think you might still be able to get it online. I got this one here in Japan. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this puzzle, working with the kids on it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And see you later. Bye-bye.